Shabbat Shalom from Temple Concord. This week our Torah portion has a wonderful lesson. We learn about Jacob and he comes of age. Jacob goes off and has this dream and the ladder and all of that. And then he falls in love with a beautiful woman, Rachel. But he can't have her. and He has to make a deal. He has to wait seven years and work before he can marry her. The lesson here is patience. Patience is something that none of us have in great supply, particularly in the age in which we live. We live in a time where we have immediate access to everything, with our cell phones, or with cable TV, or with the internet. We can get a hold of any information anytime. And we're used to getting things in the drive through and immediately, and right now. But our Torah portion says, not so fast. Learn to be patient, and nurture that patience within you, so that you can take a deep breath, and not become overstressed, and not become overwhelmed by all the craziness around us. Jacob's lesson and Jacob's urgency is no different than our urgency. The trick with Jacob is that he figured out how to control that urgency, how to manifest it, how to get on top of it so that he himself could be patient and could live comfortably and could reach what he wanted to reach. <clears throat> his, his goals were no different than your goals or my goals. What was different was that he found patience. And so many of us are searching for that same kind of patience and that same kind of level of calm and relaxation. And it starts with the basics. It starts with going back to an example in our own sacred text that says, just slow down. Don't worry about it all. It will take time, but it will get done. It also starts with how we see our calendar. Each week we pause for just a moment as we are right now to celebrate Shabbat. And when we do that, we give ourselves the gift of patience because it forces us to settle down and to relax just a bit. I hope you'll join us for services this Shabbat. We have services at 6 o'clock on Friday evening, followed by a sushi dinner. Saturday morning services are at 11. We'll celebrate the Bar Mitzvah of Aaron Costanza. On Monday evening, our scholar series continues with Dr. Willis Kreisberg who will be giving a wonderful presentation, and I hope you'll join us. For now, Shabbat Shalom from the Temple. Look forward to seeing you. I wish you a patient and calm Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom.